Hey, little Jimmy. Yeah, Grandpa. Do you want to know how fireflies got their light? Um, uh, sh sure, I guess. Well then, do you know the fable about the moth and the flame? N no, not really. So there's this moth and this flame. Really? I would have never guessed. Anyway, the moth keeps on getting closer and closer to the fire, even though it knows that it could kill him. His love for the light overbears the fear of his imminent death. This dangerous relationship makes the experience even more tempting and exciting for the moth. However, his love for the flame is so strong, he flies right into the light. Yet his bond with the flame was in him all along, and it will always be with him. The glow is the moth's fire within, and that's how fireflies are created. I'm pretty sure he burns alive and his body crumbles to ash. But what about the, the glowing is just a chemical reaction in the abdomen created to attract mates and warn off predators. Now, Grandpa, I'm going to tell you a little story. Okay. So there's this guy. Name's Darwin. He's pretty chill in the science community. Like to talk about evolution, survival of the fittest. I just wanted to tell you! Uh... This scientist developed five steps of the natural selection process. Now, don't forget these like you did with my birthday last year. Step one. There are more organisms produced than will survive. Step two, there is variations within each generation. Step three, some variations are more adapted for the environment. Step four, that better organisms will survive and reproduce. Step five, organisms that reproduce pass on their traits. I guess I must have been pretty fit, because me and grandma made your mom. Please, don't ever mention that again. <laughs> Let's say a long long time ago, like prehistoric times, or what you might have known them as, your golden years. Hey! There were fireflies that did not glow. Tons of these insects, but not all of them would pass on their traits. A genetic mutation came along, the fire. You see, here's where the variation is. Some glow, and some don't. Let me guess. The ones with the light were better than the ones without. Bingo. Bingo! No, not that. Where was- oh yeah. The ones with the light were better at attracting mates. The glow identifies who they're best suited to reproduce with. These traits were passed from generation to generation. The doll kind eventually died off from lack of offspring. So it's kind of like how I passed on my traits to your mother, who passed them on to you. L like what trait? Well, I can see your incredible talent in storytelling. <laughs> Thanks, Grandpa. Good night, Jimmy. Good night.